We're using Vicks under the nostril of the pigs. It kind of desensitizes them. Right here, a little bit over, a little bit under, kind of quiets them. Pushing those testicles to center. There you did it. Little tiny incision marks. When we pull that sperm cord out, what I'm doing with that uh, scalpel, instead of cutting it straight across, stretch it really tight till there's no blood in there, and then tease it with your scalpel so that it breaks those blood vessels unevenly, and it'll heal up a lot faster. And this little guy says, it's okay, he's gonna live. They don't cry too much during the procedure. All right. Now they're pushed towards me. I can see them well. You want to avoid cutting on that center line. You want to cut the high point of each testicle. Put out. Two small incisions. It's okay. You're fine. It's okay. It's okay. A little bit of fix on your nose. Kind of settles you down a little bit. Good clean pull. That's better. Poor baby. Poor baby. I got his nuts cut off and everything. It was horrible. You did a good job, bud. There you go. So these legs have to be pushed down into the hams. Otherwise, if you pull them straight towards the belly, you're going to get the testicles too tight and you won't be able to pull them up. The reason I cut both of them at the same time is because if one starts bleeding, I don't want it to affect my second cut. Pop it out. This seems to be the most painful for them, I think. Get it good and tight so you don't lose it. You don't cut it off short. Very little bleeding. Clean cuts. Everything's back inside. Well, most everything's back inside. Who squealed loud, huh? Who did? Who squealed just when we got you away from the mama? Some Vicks.
that's all the little piggies we're going to cut today. You're okay. You did good, buddy. You did good.